All right. We have next Off the Grid, which seems to be a uh, cyberpunk themed battle royale, which, meh. Um, interesting. Sky the Two Embers, which is an animated series based on Sky Children of the Light. That's an animated series and not a video game. So what are you doing here? It's because it's made by Sky the Children of Light or the people who made that. But isn't that a... Sky of the Children of Light? Oh, is that a game? Okay. It's a game. It's, an, it's a mobile game where you, like, it. explore. It's, it's like a walking sim, but, like, you fly oh. around, glide and stuff. Okay. Okay, that's fine, then. Yeah. Uh, More yes, details about the next... Uh, dra uh, Dragon Age. Uh, Dragon Age? Uh, Yakuza game. Yeah. Ooh, Yakuza. There we go, I got there. Oh, hey, look, Homeworld 3. Wait, co-op? Oh, co-op roguelike missions. Okay. Oh, we need more co-op RTSs. I, yeah. I like how you can see all the, uh, the leaves. You can see all of the collectibles. Yeah, it's very nice. Hey, day three. Meh. I'm kind of excited for it. It's more payday, Pro and that's what payday fans want. Yeah. Uh, Project Mugen, which looked like a huge mashup, mishmash of other popular games at the time. <laughs> um, yeah. They wanted to make their own Spider-Man, and then I think it turned out to be a, uh, a gotcha. So, like, meh. Is it the game I'm thinking of? Let me, let me go ahead and make sure that that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah. Also, while we were on the topic of, of Payday 3, we also got an uh, announcement of Killing Floor 3. Oh, cool. Which is awesome. <laughs> we now all we it. need is Team Fortress 3, and then we'd be complete. We all know Valve is uh, yeah. taking their dear old time. Gen my stamina so I can climb this building better. Features, here we go. Yes, got one. I'm literally only one pedal away in this area. Where is it? Fly north of the range. Oh wait, turn that back on. No, that's, that's not Look the. Look down. Pedal. Oh. Uh, that was an NPC. Those, those, those little that wasn't what I was. That wasn't what I was looking at. That was kind of something else. But it's just an NPC moving around. Oh, there it is. Oh, uh, are you sure that's not in the next zone? No, it's not. It should be there anyway. uh, I mean, I'm, it looks I'm really close. Looks, looks really close to the Coliseum. Oh, it is uh, the next zone. Yep. Oh wait, 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 wait! Turn around. Put the camera at me to the right. Keep, keep going. Keep going. Is it right there? No. Oh, that's also on the other side. Also on the other Dang. side. Yep. Okay, well. We literally went away. Awesome. I just want to find it. <laughs> yeah. The floor, is it? No, it's not going to be oh, in I can the see floor. That, that one's red. You see the, the red graffiti? Uh-huh. Yeah, that'll summon a fight. It's nice. Have you oh, already done that. that one? I, I have, yes. Okay, what it's... is... Where is the... pedal? The monstrums? It's not the monstrums, oh no. Yeah, I was, uh... trying to find time to watch more of the, uh, West of Loathing. Or not West of uh, Shadows over Loathing. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's, it's great. Yeah. It's a good time. Hmm. Um. Okay, so it's apparently it's not clear on if it's a gotcha game. So if it isn't a gotcha game, it might be worth checking out. Interesting. 
No. It's free to play, though, so that's always got me on guard. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Where is it? Um, somewhere. Also, I found the, uh, the footsteps. Yeah. Maybe it's up top. Maybe. This is the fun of... Oh, is it right there? Oh, no, it's not. Okay. What if it just doesn't exist until later? That's not the case. That would be a shame, though. That's not the case because you can already see ones that you can't pick up till later. <laughs> True. Uh, but maybe it's up along the wall, right? Off we go. Oh. Why can't it just have infinite stamina in town? Because you can actually be fighting here. Oh, there, it is. there it is. Can I even get up there? Now can you now can you get to it? Looks like from around the side. Yeah. Nice. Oh, got a regen. Oh boy. And then I'll be this uh, section done for pedals. So we got two more here. One there, one there. Three there. How many battles say we're in the game in total? I don't remember. You can just count. Yeah, but I, a lot of math. It might be like 120. Yeah, that sounds about right. That's all right. I'll just go turn turn in what I have right now. Just over here. Yep. Your pedals. You've made me... Make 70 so far. Got... Pretty pink. It looks like a cosmetic item. Crescendo. Oh. There's yep. a neat, neat color change costume. Yeah. Yeah, you can really see it. Yeah. Okay. There we go. <laughs> it's actually pretty, pretty good looking. I say. Get spotted by that child. Eliminate her. <laughs> oh no. You better not be. Anyway, what else? For. Yeah. What else do we have? Uh, first dwarf. I forget what that one is. I'm gonna take a look. You got my attention. <laughs> oh, you have a like a mech, and oh, and you're you doing some sort of that's you're chopping down a tree, all right. You're mining rocks, all right. Oh, are you gonna build the build a house? Oh no, you're laying down walls. Oh, okay. Mm, you're doing some mech combat. All right, all right. Mech dwarf game. Looks like it, yeah. Nice. Does it have co-op? Like, it looks like it could be okay. Oh, you wish for me to appraise something? Absolutely. First dwarf. Oh, oh only split screen? Why? Ah, oh, I recognize this, because they hate everyone. Do you know who it belongs to? Indeed, it belongs to a little girl, the daughter of one of our regular customers. It was a family heirloom passed down from generation to generation in the family. They brought it to me for repairs whenever the years wore it down. As a matter of fact, their butler came by recently and asked if I had seen it. They were quite distressed over it and were asking all over town. They were! But we just missed them. It's about, yes, it's ours now. Where did they go after that? I recall they went to continue their search at the amphitheater. They had visited the theater the day they had lost it. Well, let's go to the amphitheater then. Something that as precious as that over time becomes nothing less than family. 
But I do suppose her um, um, anemona is special in her own particular way. Melissa insists that she stands on her own two feet and goes on little strolls. Hello, amigo, como esta? Uh, it's pretty, pretty good. Playing, playing a game. East series has been so fun so far. At least we're not back in the days of diagonal combat. What do you mean? That's the new East Ten combat. It's diagonal combat. But no but, attack buttons. We don't need those no. anymore. Just hoverboards and diagonal combat. Uh, ho ho hoverboards and diagonal combat might actually be pretty sick, I gotta say. <laughs> now then, there's no time to lose. That girl must be heartbroken without her toy. Please return it to her family safely. Yes, we intend to do so. Let us proceed to the amphitheater. Let's go. Alright, next oh, thing is, uh... Buy what you like. Oh, save for animal. Present. There we go. Buy a knife. Thank there you for go. stopping by. You gotta, you, gotta, you gotta get the knife. Hand it to someone and say, knife to meet you. Knife to if meet I you. If I hand it to them, I mean stab them. It's what? handing it to them. Use your hand to, to give it to them. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. Anyway, uh, the next trailer looks to be uh, Path of Exile 2, Druid. Is that a class that the game didn't have before I take it? Look, yep. So, Path of Exile 2 is adding a new class for each of the uh, combinations of stats. There's strength, dexterity, and, and like wisdom, mm -hmm. and like each each new combination. Get, well, each combination gets a second class because each kind of had one before. Okay. Yeah, it's looking really good. Step right up, everyone. Plenty of tickets left for this evening's show. Um, sorry, but we were wondering if we could ask you about something. Oh, what is it? Tell the receptionist. <clears throat> about the search for the stuffed rabbit's owner. Oh, I know what you're talking about. It just happened a little bit ago, so we just missed him again. This noble girl came by asking if we had gotten anything in our lost and found. We'd appreciate, uh, <clears throat> appreciate. She apparently dropped a stuffed toy of hers. You could tell that she loved the thing to bits, too. I can only imagine how relieved she would be that you found it. Yeah, whoopee. Got any idea where she went? Unfortunately not. But with all the people we come, or we get coming and going through here, sorry, I couldn't be of more help. You were sufficiently helpful, actually. Thank you very much for your time. Well, she was just here, though. Let's use Amona's gift, and Amona's gift to track her down. We're certain to come across her before long. Yep. Use the magical, mystical eyes of seeing all that is truthful in the world. A more behind the world. Um, I mean, you were going the right way before. There's tracks. There's other, more tracks. Yeah, All right, looks like we got more Alan Wake 2 stuff. I do also want to play that game. There's so many games. So many games. There are there are a lot of games. Uh, more Forza looks like something called Death Ground. Okay, hang on. Where are you? Oh, I found the girl. Oh my dearest Todd. Whatever could, uh, where, wherever could you have gone? If only I had ridden that carriage instead of insisting upon an occasional stroll. Now, my lady, I shall search for Sir Todd, so please do settle down. Any pardons for the interruption? What, was it you who dropped this, may I ask? Well, would you look at that? Todd, oh, my dear darling Todd. Wherever did you find him? Right over in Artisan Lane. The family staying in the inn found him. They requested that we deliver him to you. I see. Well, that is what transpired. But Todd is important as any member of our family. I shan't let, go, let him out of my sight again. You take care of him, okay? <laughs> Indeed, I'll be certain not to make the same mistake twice. He and I have been inseparable since birth. It is only sensible if we remain so. Yeah, by sincerest, most cordial gratitude. I simply must reward you all. I got flowers to make tea with. Please just accept Pretty nice. my thanks <laughs> to you as well. Though we have to make sure we also thank the kind family who found Sir Todd. Quite right. Let's go before they depart the city. I bid you all a good day, everyone. Yep. I was a kid with a vocab like that. Lose a stuffed animal half her size. 
It's okay, Credo. That's enough. <laughs> Shut up, Credo. You're being rude again. Anyway, I'm glad we got Todd back to his rightful owner. You can really tell just how important he is to her. Yes, very much so. What is this mysterious feeling? Relief, perhaps? Oh no. Santa Robot's getting a heart. This is a heart. The long is to travel with them. <laughs> I need some repairs. <laughs> um... <laughs> Not in particular, no. This is taking us quite a bit of time. This list returned to our original objective. Our original objective right. of seeking out side quests. Great. Seeking side quests. Alright. So, Death Ground appears to be. Uh. What if we made a. It, like, seems to be. What if it's left for dead, except that instead of zombies, we got we got dinosaurs. The Turok. No. No. Oh, because it's co-op. Oh. No, because it's co-op, and no, mm. because the, and no, because Turok is just like shoot the dinosaurs, whereas yeah. this is like survive against the dinosaurs. <laughs> There's a difference. Oh. <laughs> the t the tone is different. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that would be a different tone. This one's good luck. The other one was like, haha, Rambo the dinosaurs, let's go. Exactly, exactly. In one of them you're in one of them you're Rambo, and the other one it, it's Jurassic Park. <laughs> yep. All right, you gotta give me see their food. Yep. One more, one more till you get a reward. All right. Okay, what else do we got? Rush real fast. You continue to list new releases. Very right back, real quick. Oh, okay. But dwarves. It's Lord of the Rings: Return to Moria. Um. So is this? What is this? I'm gonna take a look at it here. Um, this video does not... Maybe we should go oh, there soon. it is. Survival crafting in the Lord of the Rings universe. And you're all dwarves. I, th I think that's especially up Thorn's Alley. I'll talk about that one when he gets back. What else do we have? Stalker 2, don't care. More like a Dragon Gaiden. Marvel Snap, Wayfinder, but I don't want a game that's Destiny and WoW. Yeah. All right, yes. Return to Moria oh, is also yeah. Yes, it's up my it's alley. A it's a co-op survival crafter where you're playing as dwarves. That's great. Yep. I, yeah, I hope I, it's good. I really do. <laughs> I really do. Just what I told you, chat. Just what I told you. <laughs> I told you this would be the game Thorn would be very also, interested in. Also, Wayfinder has been a bit of a mixed bag, if I recall, because it's already Well, they, they describe it as a mix of WoW and Destiny, which completely puts me off of it. I mean, look, it's it sounds like it was just a game. Apparently, it's a half-decent game. The problem is I'll, I'll that take a look it at the didn't have a very good ad campaign. Also, speaking of the ad campaign for Wayfinder, we have to talk about Fextra Life. Just... just throw it out there we have to do do we actually have to talk about how you should never go to fextra life yeah other than the fact that their guides are not great apparently and incomplete they um they embed their stream on every single page of their site oh yeah i've blocked it site-wide yeah i don't even go to their site and so it's, i it's i whatever. the last time i went there was when i was looking stuff up for monster hunter world interesting so I don't go there anymore. Yeah, it seems to be more of a recent. But even if they've embedded everything, but, e but but even but even if I did go there, I have the stream blocked now, so I don't contribute to their viewership because uh, that's not how that works. <laughs> if yeah. you want me to view your stream, make it so that I want to view your stream. Don't just make me automatically be viewing your stream. Yeah, the 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 most nefarious part of it is how on every page it's like not. Um, it's not visible, and it starts muted. No, it's visible. It's like up in the corner. No, it's it's on the left bottom, like, uh, you have to scroll down. 
to see it. it like any sub page. In the actual oh, like did main Fextra Life did page. They, did they move it? They might have. Uh -huh. Because in the in the main Fextra Life front page, maybe it's there visible like right away. But in ev it's in every single sub page of the site. Yep. And it, and it's like you gotta scroll down to see it. And because you're loading also, a new page and connecting to the stream, you they, watch an ad when you join. Yes. So ads. Also, um, well, apparently they don't have like in stream ads, but they do have sponsors that are below the stream, but you can't see those while you're watching it. The, not watching the, or, I suppose, not watching the uh, embed. It's it's a big mess. And also, apparently, if you try to like pull their page up on your phone, the stream just doesn't appear, but it loads. Oh, that's like it's, it, it, it exists, yeah. but not really. Yeah, where is this dried, aged, dry aged meat thing that we're supposed to have here? There it is. Right there. Come Perfect. I have just, I have just enough later. for it. Nice. I'm gonna go back to Shady McShady, dude. Oh guy. boy! Somebody posted in the in the like comments for the Wayfinder article on IGN <laughs> yeah. of just a screenshot of a Steam page where it's 34% positive. Yeah, so I think what happened to Wayfinder is, well, first off, they sponsored Fextra Life to play their game, which is fine in and of itself. Which is fine, they can but sponsor I, whoever I, they want. I sure hope they knew that those views were like not real. I sure hope so, because that might be a bit of a fraud situation. Yes, here we go. Um, but yeah, apparently it's a half decent game. They didn't get very many like positive reviews early on. They didn't have a great ad campaign because they didn't really have a proper ad campaign. They mostly just sponsored streamers. And if you sponsor a bunch of streamers and paid this your life group to be like the biggest stream that you have, then there's not actually a bunch of viewers. It's, yeah, that's, that's, that's why I haven't heard of this game until just yeah. now. Yeah. They, they, they sponsored a bunch of streamers and then they had it on Gamescom and it was kind of just a flop. Dead on arrival. Anyway, in today's objective, Intel on a prison cares. Must have something to do with the knights. God knows where you'll find yourself information like that. I don't <laughs> know where the WoW is coming in. I don't know. I don't understand where the WoW is coming in. It looks like it's just Destiny with melee weapons, which, hey, guess what? That would actually interest me. Yeah. Completing these requests might help you uncover more intel on the prison. First, you need to find some clues. Ah, uh, yes. Rue friend. Whew, this one in particular. This is one peculiar place. If you actually pent up in, Rusty. So what a manner of man are you, anyway? <laughs> oh. <laughs> an adventure, I know. I know. Why, why didn't I you know. pick a suit to be jailbreaker extraordinary? Your adventures must be... A right for some lot then, huh? Anyway, about this intel you're looking for, I think I've got a hunch on where it may be. See, there's this warehouse the knights have been using on the slide room. It will be a most arduous trek to make, but what do you say? Wanna check it out? I'll see you just an apple sometime. You mean it? Oh, service day. <laughs> I'll take the sweetest one you've got. I like how he, how he knows that, because he knows Rue's like apples. Yeah. With the Savior's guidance, the duo arrived at the mysterious underground passage. Yeah. Wayfinder, unfortunately, dead on arrival. I mean, yeah, I everything know. about it looks fine. They, except the marketing is horrible, because they're like, yeah, it's like, wow. Like, it looks nothing like wow. It's nothing. Okay, if you say so. Yeah, it looks nothing like wow. I they almost didn't check it out. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Project Rogan right again. Fallout TV series, which is definitely a game. I, again, I don't understand this. I, I get that it's like based off of a game series. You know, but it's I, not I, a game. Why are you showing have... it off here? I would have uh, game related media is something I'd say I'd accept in Gamescom. I've been here before. Um, so it's not like bad to see it. I just prefer games. You can announce you can announce stuff outside of like the big games conference, yeah. which is for games. 
I, it's it's like it's like when I I also got annoyed when E3 was still around and they announced like a show. It's like, the, but that's not a video game. What are you doing? Yeah. Oh no! It's the barrier's too impenetrable. Okay. It's, po it's a Pokemon lead situation. A what? The Pokemon ledge. Ledge. Okay. Ledge. Yes. Yeah. Can't can't go up it. Nope. Not man. Illegal. Very. Very illegal. The Pokemon doesn't have a jump button, you see, until they got a jump button. Stay sharp. Yeah. I know that was like the best Pokemon there was. We might see another one one day. It's only been a year and a it's half. Arcus. Yeah. I wonder what's gonna happen here. Nice. Oh, I built something with that. Touched the other one. I don't know if you meant to. <laughs> No, I didn't, but it's fine. It probably wouldn't let me go past it. No, it would have. The other one just had some gates open. Well, this one rotates, so I probably wouldn't be able to access something because it was blocking it. Oh, uh, you I, can probably... Really... Can you, can you, can you jump high it. enough to go over it? No. Yeah, you might have been able to clear it. But this is certainly easier. Stop it. Leave me alone. I want this chest. Oh, 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 oh. I almost fell. These traps are getting me. <laughs> oh god! Inconceivable! Proceed as if I've cleared the dungeon. Yeah, but then you don't get any of the chests. Yeah. How could you? I like how that laser just straight up one shot, man. Do it again. Yeah, no, the laser is death. You only have 315 health. What do you think this is? And if only I hadn't tripped and lost all my stuff down a well this last time. Okay. A treasure chest. Uh, I want it to trigger the. Oh, that goes to arrows, not death. Mm, the other one's death. <laughs> yeah, okay. One. Starfield, which has been. Um... Apparently, it's a Bethesda game. Who knew? Yeah, it's a Bethesda game, alright. That's all you need to know. Oh, jeez. I've I've been hearing some, some interesting. You can't you can't change the game's resolution. Oh FOV. You also can't change the FOV. But no, yeah. you don't. You can't set the resolution to something. You can set only the resolution scaling. Interesting. That's probably just cannot... something left over from consoles, honestly. Yeah. Except left over. you know. Okay. This isn't the console we're dealing with make proper settings. What? They meant the game on the console? Of course there's not going to be any PC settings. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, it's a Bethesda game. That, I'm not going to excuse it. Make no, proper it settings. It shouldn't be excused. And people shouldn't be excusing it, but people are. Unfortunately. This is a Bethesda game. At least it runs. There's no massive growing bugs. I'm, I'm sure there are ancestral bugs in the code because they keep using the same engine that they should honestly just toss and use, like, Unity or something. But, it's a Bethesda game. Unfortunately, it seems like it's not very open-world feeling. Which is unfortunate. Apparently there are barriers a certain distance from your ship. Yeah. And, uh, if you move your ship, if you move your ship just past where the barrier was, then you can keep going. So, like, it tries to keep the whole thing loaded instead of, uh, like, procedurally, yeah. or, uh, not procedurally, but, like, unloading certain areas and reloading other ones. It just has a zone around your ship that's loaded. Yeah. Let's see if we can't find what we're looking for else, uh, around here. Anyway, point is, moving on. Alan Wake 2 again, Mortal Kombat 1, don't care, Robocop, Rogue City... Uh, don't care. More Lord of the Rings. Now this I'm interested in. Star Wars Dark Forces Remaster. That's the one with Revan, right? No. No? Wait. I honestly don't remember. But Dark I thought Revan, Revan was, was only like a... 
Garth Revan is like just a big Star Wars character. In anything that isn't from the movies. Basically, yeah. <laughs> I, I was still mad Disney decided to just throw everything on the fire. Looks like there's several categories. And they threw everything on the fire and then chose not to use it and selectively add things back to being canon. Which is what they should have done. Whatever. I've been mad about that for So years. it looks like he's it looks like he's only in Revan? Looks like he's only well, I mean this this book he could just be bad. Um wait, can oh this is in the canon. Sorry, sorry. They have a canon and legends uh, categories on the wiki. Okay, yeah, so in, in the actual, room, in the um, actual, the I wasn't aware you could read. What we got after <laughs> in a second? Hey, bite your time. I may be all cute and fuzzy now, but I can still read, just not super well as all, and I never could pass those dreaded textbooks. No hand, no thumbs. You see. Among the goods and supply transports, there is an entry titled "Nuisance Transfer." Must be the escort Greg mentioned. The data transfer is today. So, scenario, no despair then. What do we do, Rusty? <laughs> we might not make any time. Can't give up just yet. Uh, verily. Ver verily. Absolutely right. It's worth a shot, at least. Let's get hurry up and go. He doesn't have a back to them. 